Hey guys, Charlie here and thanks for assembling on us. This is part three of our three-part series on the Edinburgh Risk Security Management ambush that took place on Route Irish in Baghdad on April 20th, 2005. I've done up a complete uh, critique of the incident and my thoughts on what happened and what they could have done differently based on my experience working in Iraq in 2004 and 2005 operating solely in low-profile motorcades. I never rode in you know a typical SUV or F-350 pickup truck, anything like that, on Baghdad roads. We drove those kind of things inside of the, the compound where we were living and working, but out on the roads we were using low-profile BMWs, Mercedes-Benz, things that blended in to the local population. So I've got a full account uh, or of the lessons learned on my blog spot. You can go check it out there. I just wanted to take a second to touch on some of the highlights of what I would have done differently uh, to prevent the attack um, from happening in the first place. Biggest thing, low profile motorcade is just that low profile you're relying on the BMWs, the Mercedes-Benz, these locally um, procured cars. There's thousands of them. The Iraqis, it's, you know, they drove these things all over the place. They didn't stand out. So the idea is now you're camouflaged. By separating themselves out away from the civilian traffic and firing warning shots, they completely blew their cover. Any one of hundreds of people were seeing this and could have called their buddy Mahmoud to come on down with the boys in the belt feds and light this motorcade up. So they draw unwanted attention to themselves and then they stay in the area for almost a full half an hour static, giving these guys plenty of time to roll in, set up their linear ambush, initiate the ambush, and get away. The cars have to be kept in drive, ready to punch out at a moment's notice. Setting them in the neutral, you're just asking for something. You forget that it's there. It takes, even if you remember, it now takes more time to get it back into drive and go. The minute contact starts, everybody wants to get down on one driver's action, the driver of the lead vehicle. Everybody else doesn't need permission for that guy to go. You're the driver of a car, contact starts. Our SOP was you punch and you go hard. Create distance and space. If not everybody can get off the X, if you've made it out, you're in a much better position to support them from a distance where you can lay down suppressive fire and maneuver a little bit better. By staying there and letting just, you know, all of these cars are just getting hammered with um, automatic weapons fire, not a great place to be. You want to create space, you want to create distance, and you want to rely on the other reason that you got BMWs and Mercedes Benz is available speed. You hit the accelerator, and in three seconds, four seconds, you're 500, 600 yards down the road minimum. A lot harder to hit a moving target like that. So the minute contact starts, that's the SOP. That should be the immediate action drill. You don't wait for somebody's permission to go. You hit the gas and bomb burst out of that place in a low profile mode. Okay? And again, my opinions, tactics that we used. Now they're into the ambush itself. And understand, when people are shooting at you like that, it is total chaos. Adrenaline is through the roof. Fine motor skills sort of disappear. It gets harder to think. You're, you're dealing with a chaotic and rapidly changing situation, and they did the best that they could. My big thing is the way to have prevented that um, from happening in the first place and then getting off the X just as quickly as they possibly could. So again, you can check out our blog spot if you want to le read a little bit more about um, you know, what we think and, and saw on the video. And uh, I hope you learned something from it. I hope you're never in, uh, you know, an actual ambush situation. But if you are, hopefully some of this stuff will stick and uh, give you a chance to uh, come out of the thing alive. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. And we are out. Peace.